a follow up from um, Steve Webster on the the monetization stuff he did last month. So if you haven't watched that, it's uh, available on our YouTube channel. Um, but um, over to you, Steve. What what's um, kind of the reaction been to to that, that initial broadcast? Thank you, Martin. Yeah, we had some good feedback, so I just have a little presentation of a slideshow here. I'm going to share uh, someone's testimony of having a free add-on. Then they went to a paid uh, plan for everyone, and I'm going to go over that little testimony. And then I want to have a brief uh, continue to the conversation of how to handle uh, editor collabor collaborators with payments because it could get messy, right? You could be the owner of a spreadsheet, and if you are sharing that spreadsheet and you have to refund an account, who's who's it going to? So we'll talk about that with a quick demo. And then we also have a couple contributions. Uh, Stripe web app code is available, thanks to Alan Wells, and we'll share this uh, link uh, after the episode. As well as Bruce, he has shared uh, using Stripe with Promises, which is a uh, an improvement based on the sample code that I gave, and we'll share that link as well. So let's just go into the uh, the testimony and my demo. All right, um, this person didn't want to reveal their add-on due to potential competition, so I'm trying to protect the innocent if you don't mind. Um, so let me just read this as you can read along. Uh, he said, for a long time, we offered everything for free, and even after introducing a paid version, most features remained free. Recently, we removed most features from the free version, essentially forcing many users to get a paid plan. Despite this bait and switch, we didn't get much user backlash, as we explained why we needed to do this and offered a long transition period and discounted pricing. So let me interrupt by saying, he was very sensitive to the customer, right? So I think that was uh, handled that very well. He continues, we now offer a free trial with full functionality for 30 days, and then they have like a pro version with most features for certain dollars per month. And they actually have another level with even more features with more dollars per month. Or the user can continue for free, but losing most of the features. We're doing the payments on our own site instead of within the add-on itself, and, off and they're offering both Stripe for credit card usage or PayPal if they want to pay from their PayPal balance. Buyers can choose an auto-renewing subscription or a one-time payment. We display pricing in either United States or Euros depending on the user location. And finally, he says our sales of the add-on are now above $100,000 and growing on average 8% every month. Our expenses are low because we don't need to do any paid marketing. People find the add-on via the add-on store and word of mouth. So our profit margin is really high. And he continued to say that based on this experience, he went from doing it himself to a small team. So it is possible to um, handle, to go from free to pay and grow your little business. So I think that's fantastic. And then to wrap up this uh, feedback, I just wanted to uh, mention something. Um, let's use a, an example. Uh, one of the add-ons that I have with a partner of mine is TextG Blaster SMS Texting. And we have a frequently asked question that says, where's my money? And we state, account balances follow the owner of the spreadsheet. If you purchase using a spreadsheet you own, you will get the credits. If you share the spreadsheet with someone else and they buy more credits using that same spreadsheet that you own, then the credits will go to your account, which is actually great for delegating, you know, for like businesses. But don't worry, they will first get a notification explaining this fact if we detect they are not the spreadsheet owner. So I just want to give a quick demo and then we'll wrap this up. So let me enlarge my screen here. So here's TextG Blaster add-on. So right now there is the remaining messages is zero, so it's time to refund on the next usage. So they click preview. They see what's about to be sent, right? 
if they click next they have to have payment but since I'm an editor of the spreadsheet and I'm not the owner we want to make it perfectly clear that if they hit the buy and they pay with their credit card it's not credited to their email account but the email account that is the owner of the spreadsheet so the point is you could uh, receive payment and assign it to like let's say user properties but if you do that any collaborators uh, won't have their balance but if you choose to do it on a document basis level then it's possible to share someone else's purchases so it just depends on how you want to do it okay and that is it so I, I suppose the, um, the immediate question that springs to mind um, is so how are you storing that data so are you using uh, the property services or for that particular aspect is there a, a back-end database yeah um, for the uh, texting add-on that we have we are using uh, a database in this case a spreadsheet and so when someone installs the add-on we uh, get their user email address and we assign like in this case 50 free credits so it's the owner of that spreadsheet but if they share that spreadsheet with someone else uh, they can still use from that person's purchase so it's true collaboration right so that's how we handle it it's, it's um it's fantastic to see um you can make money from add-ons even though that google yes. haven't got they keep talking about monetization mm -hmm. you know built in but um people gone off and done their own thing and they I suppose if you've got the good product people will pay for it that's right